Morning everybody, welcome to the shop. Here's a quick RB10 update. I'm getting ready to uh, glue in the first window into the cabin. Um, I just really want to post a video to kind of give a timeline update of uh, progress. So uh, I've got uh, the transition uh, finished. I did one layer of glass and then uh, body filler over the top of that and uh, sanded it down several times. Got the vacuum cleaner hung from the ceiling with one of those remote control uh, outlet things to make it easier to turn on and off. Uh, that worked pretty good. Um, you made these little clamps for uh, clamping the windows in place. That'll go right there and then drilling holes for a standard cleat go through there. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use for this first one, and I'll do one and see how it goes, but I'm going to use popsicle sticks in... Uh, my understanding is that once I put the primer activator and the primer on here that th that will stick into the primer and then I'll put some more primer over the top of that. I'll cut these quite a bit smaller but I wanted to make sure that the, the spacing was going to be right when the window sits in there. Um, the doors still need just a little bit of cosmetic work. Um, I just got tired of working on them so I switched to other things. I did get a bunch of the uh, um, engine baffling parts, uh, pre-assembled a bunch of small parts and things that comprises all of that. And I'm using the um, Sikaflex product for gluing the windows in. So it'll be the, the 295 UV and then the activator and the primer and that's my understanding. I think it's the primer that's different based on whether you're going over fiberglass or metal. And since everything will be fiberglass, except for the leading edge of the windscreen, which I don't think I'm too concerned about because then that'll have a fiberglass overlay over the top of that. Um, I don't know if there's anything else on this side, but I got the same transition stuff done. Uh, here's the single layer of glass and uh, body filler over the top of that. I've been prepping the, the window joggles by sanding that. Um, I forget the grit, but uh, probably like 180 here. And then uh, using 3M tape. This is half inch blue tape here. I have also some quarter inch, but I'm not using it. And then I uh, sanded the outside. That's basically like three quarters, which kind of matches that that joggle in the, the cabin frame. Um, and that is, uh, I think that's 180 that I was using to sand that. Um, one of the, I sanded off all of it till it's not shiny. You can kind of see here the shininess up to the right next to the tape. I just wanted to try to stay away from the tape so I'm not not too concerned about that uh, but like I say this will be the first one so we'll see how things go um, here's the half inch tape that I'm using I'm getting all the stuff from the body parts store down here where I get my paint it's a 3m vinyl tape half inch uh, 471 if you want part numbers there you go and then uh, the, the fine line or the quarter inch stuff um, that's what that is I haven't used any of that yet um, I think that was probably too narrow. I also used this guy's document for bonding a canopy to a, a slider. And uh, there's some good information in there. And then I also looked at the YouTube videos that somebody made quite a few years ago about uh, gluing windows into a, a glass star. Um, and that's also helpful, but it's not apples to apples because he's doing uh, different products and Sikaflex, but it's similar. Um, seemed like there was something else I had to show you, but I uh, can't think of what it is right now. Uh, that's where we're at. It's uh, January 20-something, 20 23rd, I think. See you next time.